Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are here with a bonus episode for Dark Souls Remastered. So in this episode, we're going to be going around and doing stuff that I missed in the main game, getting some spells and miracles and such like that, mainly miracles and I think a couple of pyromancies, and also showing off the boss weapons. Also, I'm going to try to keep Onion Bro alive and show off what happens when Zolaire dies. So... First off, when we beat the game, we get the soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Now, you can eat this for a whole bunch of souls, or there are two items you can make for it. One is a great sword if you can't make right yet, and the other one is here on the Altar of Sunlight, and you offer the soul of Lord Gwyn, and you get... Miracle Sunlight Spear, which is very powerful, takes 50 faith to use, and requires two attunement slots. I don't know if I'm actually going to get to 50 faith here, but well, I'll try at least. Uh, yeah, I'm at 25, so we'll see. But yeah, that's a basically super powerful Lightning Spear version right there, and yeah, that's something we we're going to try to get. Okay, I'll meet you guys when I get to the next thing, which for me will probably be a while for you, not terribly long. Alrighty, something I just figured out here. If you kill Eltrek in his cell, you can't open the door and get his Ring of Favor and Protection, so don't do that. Yeah. Oh, also, with the Sunlight Miracle, you have to be in... Or the Sunlight Spear Miracle, you do have to be in the... In the... Warriors of Sunlight Covenant to actually cast it, so you want to watch out for that. Anyways, I'll see you guys somewhere. Alright, just beat the Bell Gargoyles, and I finally got that axe to drop from chopping off his tail. The Gargoyle Tail Axe here. It scales slightly better with Dexterity, so it's pretty decent for that. And it's not too shabby in general. It's not like the best weapon, but it does seem pretty cool. And yeah, that raises your Poison Bleed, or Poison Toxic, and whatever, resistance, whatever other re resistance that is. So yeah, it's a nice, cool little bendy axe. The... R2 in particular, yeah, it kind of like bends like the actual tail there. But it's a pretty cool little weapon, I like it. And with axes though, you actually have to hit something for it to continue this, the swing, otherwise you just restart the animation each time, but I like it. I might try to put it to use, we'll see. If I can ever get this jump attack, that'd be great. There you go. There we go. Finally got it. I like it. Alright, see you guys later. Alrighty, we're over here in the catacombs with Patches, and instead of saying I'm not a cleric, I'm going to tell him I am a cleric and see what he does. Uh, after this, I've made a backup save file, and hopefully I can copy that over and just uh, show you what happens when you tell him you're a cleric if you see him down in the Tomb of the Giants. Actually, yeah, because if, cause if I tell him I'm a cleric now, or if I tell him I'm not a cleric now, then he's not going to ask me down there, so I'll just not interact with him for the time being here. But let's see what he says. Good day. What are you doing in the category? Am I a cleric? Are you a cleric or something? Yes, indeedy. Yes, I imagined as much. Best of luck with your pilgrimages or missions or whatever you do. This place is treacherous. Do you watch your step, eh? <laughs> I thought he just like attacked us like right out. I guess not. What is it now? Enough with the chit chat. A place like this, we need to stay on our toes. Okay. Well, in that case, I think he'll attack us when we go to yeah, like this thing right here. You think you're smart, don't you, Patches? You really do. Should make up for it. We're on 
the same side. Undead outcasts. Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> I did tell him I was a cleric, right? I thought he was supposed to attack you if you told him you were a cleric. At least that's what the wiki says. We're on the same spot. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can I just go ahead and push you out of the way so I can... I'm not trying to I'm not trying to kill you, Patches, I'm just trying to get you out of the way, but if you're in the way, then I kinda need you to move. Thanks, dude. Didn't mean to attack you, but it happens. Now is he gonna try this is he gonna try this again? That's the question. Knowing patches? Probably. No, I guess he only tries the one time. Okay, cool. I could have swore he was supposed to attack me, though, so... Well, oh well. Either way, that's what happens if you tell him if you're a cleric. He tells us good luck on our pilgrimage. He might just attack us later in the Tomb of the Giants, but we'll find out when we come back. Alrighty, we're down in the Tomb of the Giants here, and I have not talked to Patches on this particular file. I managed to save my game file for... Not talking to him, so it worked out pretty good. Uh, here is the first bonfire of the Tomb of the Giants right there. Uh, by the way, if you're trying to get down here early and you're on New Game, not like not like New Game Plus, because as you can see, my bonfire right here is lit. I have not touched it. I think it's just lit because it's from New Game Plus or New Game Plus Plus or something like that. But yeah, if you're just on New Game and you want to get this bonfire for warping for later, come down here, beat the boss, touch the bonfire, don't actually sit down at it, and use your homeward bone to get out. So, there you go. By the way, I have not actually seen Rhea or anybody up at the Firelink Shrine yet. I talked to Petrus, and he hasn't said anything about him. So, I don't know if they're down here or not. So, okay, we're going to find out. Anyways, I'm going to tell Petrus that we are a cleric here. Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, yes, I guessed as much. What well, is it? There's a stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, you're the cleric, right? I owe you for all that uh, praying and whatnot. I'll give you first pick. Well, go on, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> you know, Patches, you're a real stand-up fellow. You know that. There, that hole. Take a closer look. Yeah, he's really got it out for clerics for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but okay. So let's see if Rhea and her friends are down here. I'm not sure. If they're not, I wonder if this will like halt her storyline and make it so that they don't show up at all down here. But she's probably around here somewhere, just not sure where. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if, he, if she like wasn't down here because we came down here too early or something. And then we didn't have to worry about it at all. But I, mean, I think Petrus would still try to abandon them in the catacombs anyways. So, oh well. Yeah, they're not here, I guess. Unless I missed them. I'm not seeing them. Where are you guys? Like, this is the way out right here, yeah. So... Unless they're just, like, not here somewhere, that's just kind of strange. Like, I know you can miss Patches if you don't talk to him in the in the catacombs. Like, not miss him permanently, but you'll just miss that little bit of storyline that you get right there. Uh, is this just the body? Okay. White Titanite chunk. 
which is what I need to upgrade my... Divine Gargoyle Tail Axe. It's not doing as much damage as I'd like down here, probably because it's not fully upgraded, but it is doing decent damage overall, and I just like how it swings and such. So, there we go. Yeah, it's it has that little bit of delay right there if you don't actually hit anything, and there is like even a small delay even if you do hit something, but so far I like it. You're going to attack me. If I could just get the jump attack to go off more often than I, than I do, then that'd be great. Unfortunately, that's my fault, not the weapon's fault. I'm just not good at... Pulling off the jump attack there. Half the time I try to do it, I just do the strong attack. Yeah, see, that actually did well acceptable damage, not not great. I think it's probably mainly because this is this is technically new game plus plus, so enemies are even stronger than in just new game plus. Okay, they're they're just not down here, which is odd, but. We'll see how it goes. I mean, they might just get trapped down here later, and I might just have to come down for a second trip to save them or something. I'm not really sure. This is the way out, I think. No, it's not. Where is the way out? I had the way out, and then I tried to look back for them. I think it's around here. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, now I'm pretty sure Patches will attack us when we go talk to him again. So, yeah. Let's be ready for that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and pop on... Actually, I don't think we're going to need it. I was going to say put on my pyromancy glove, but I don't think we're going to need it at all. Oh, Patches. I was kind of surprised that he actually just let us go earlier when we talked to him in the catacombs. I thought he was supposed to attack you right there, but apparently I was mistaken. So, oh well. Okay, this is... Yeah, right near the bonfire, so we're pretty much right where we gotta be here. Let's go ahead and get this ready. Blimey. How did you... You weren't supposed to survive that. Well, no matter. I'll settle this once and for all. You lousy self-righteous cleric. Yeah, he just does not like clerics for some reason. I have no idea why. It's just something he's not big on. And he killed me because he dodged out of the way of my attack. So I'll be right back. I think he's just going to aggro on us immediately. So I'll be right back here. Alright. Let's see if Buddy Boy here is ready to murder me on sight. More than likely since he's just not a friendly fellow. And yeah, he's just right here waiting for us. Awesome. He has a spear just like me if I have it equipped, which I don't. Do not hit me when I'm casting my miracle or spell or whatever. Thank you. And you're going to get out of the way. You suck. Perfect. Damn it. I thought I wasn't locked on right there. What did you ever... You knocked me into a pit for your own gain there, buddy boy. Yeah, okay. And you get a crescent axe out of him, which is what clerics have, as far as, as far as I'm aware. By the way, if you are actually playing a character with a faith build and you want to upgrade a weapon down the divine path, uh, like I'm doing right here, the divine ember is after the moonlight butterfly, and then the large divine ember, you actually have to come down here for that. So we're going to see if we can't grab that real fast. It's kind of a pain, and just be prepared to lose your souls that you have if you're trying to get out of here at a decent hour. Because other than that, you probably won't make it. Is that where I want to go? No, I want to go a little further this way. Yeah, right down here should be where the Divine Ember is. And also, if you happen to come down here to the bonfire and try to figure out how to get back up, well, here's the way to get back up right there. So, just so you know. Yeah, let's not aggro that guy too much. If he wants to come after us, that's great. If not, well, I'd rather not deal with him. But yeah, down here, there should be the Divine Ember, I think. But the problem is, it's full of skeletons right there. So, they're kind of posed a little bit. Unless you have some nice, strong magics here. And even if you, do, even if you do, you might still be a little hosed. 
I mean, we might be able to get out of here alive, but I'm not counting on it. But yeah, if you're... If your primary goal is just to get the large ember, just do a suicide run, grab it, and get out of here. Either die or homeward bone out, one of the two. Either one will work, I think. Because the odds of surviving everything... I don't know if it's that one or that one over there. It's probably that one over there. That would actually make plenty of sense if it was. Bye. Luckily, these guys are dying reasonably easy to all my spells, but I am about to run out, so that's not great. Hopefully, this actually hits them. I'm not counting on it. Come on, turn around. I can't see what's going on here, dude, while you're like that. Here, come over here. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference either way. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay. So now we got to... Homing Crystal Soul Mass, which I think is just getting comboed by the ceiling there. and That's not working out great for me. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not trying to come back down here too much more if I, if I can help it. Okay, we're actually doing pretty good. We only have this guy... And one more dude left. Son of a bitch. He got me through my shield. I'll be right back. Alright, let's see how this goes this time. And yeah, we still have plenty of spell casts and whatnot, so we should be doing okay. You die. I don't know if I actually got that guy or if that just hit the ceiling. Probably just the ceiling, actually. Yeah, that just hit the ceiling. Okay, so we're going to ignore that guy for the moment since he's being stupid. Okay, got one of them at least. Got two of them. Awesome. Grab that guy right there. I think the guy's on the side. You can probably not worry about aggroing them yet. Since they are way the heck over there. You know, yeah, let's just go ahead and get down. Target the dude, thanks. There you go. That should have killed you. I don't know why it didn't, but whatever. Alright, uh, you're coming after me. That's not great. Alright, let you, let you attack. There you go. And then go for that. Why you're still alive, I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. Hopefully this is it. No, Brave Warrior. Yeah, they put the, they put the Bastard one all the way over there. And I grab that and that. And I think... This guy should be the last one. Yes, it is. I do believe. So yeah, if you're down here without this, without all the spells that I have, just do a suicide run. And yeah, get your large divine ember. So, in summary, go towards where when you go when you go to the catacombs, activate that first bonfire by that first necromancer, and then if you know the shortcut that I've shown you, just take that shortcut to get down here to. Pinwheel as quick as possible. Kill Pinwheel. Get down to that bonfire right here. Touch it, but don't sit at it. And go the path that I showed you to get in here. And run like bad until you get the... to get Until you get that right there. It might take you a few tries. But you'll be able to upgrade your faith weapon. So, there you go. And just in case... Just in case you have forgotten yay old shortcut to get down here super fast. Let me just show that real quick. And, yeah, you're going to lose plenty of souls. I mean, I've lost the, the souls from the boss, and then just souls in general. So, it's just going to happen. Just deal with it. So, come over here. If you have your light source, put it on. Like, right now, just get it out of the way. So, you come over here. You ignore everybody here. Yep. Try to go around this guy. I mean, you could, you could kill these guys on the way down and just make it a little easier on yourself, but... This is the absolute fastest way that I'm aware of. If that guy doesn't do that... Motherfucker. Let's try that again, shall we? He was not supposed to YOLO me off the edge there. 
but sometimes life happens. And I'm probably going to lose that 39,000 souls, but eh, whatever. I'll just use that for upgrading anyways. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. And I thought it was further back. Goodbye, you fuck. Alright. Anyway, let's go over here. And instead of getting nudged off the edge, you go right here. You run in here in case that guy tries to explode real fast, because he probably will. You roll off right here. Hopefully that guy doesn't follow you for too long. Go for a heal right here. Are you... Oh, I got the repair powder out. That's not what I need at all. And you are of the needing to be killed with the Necromancer variety, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, so your Necromancer is still alive. Yeah, I kind of just gave up halfway through the zone and just went down the easy way, which is the best way to do this area as far as I'm concerned. Try not to aggro these guys, but it's not always easy. If you do, try to get behind them to kill them. Ignore this guy if you can. Motherfucker. I would put my axe back on, but it's just not doing enough damage right now. Once it gets up to plus 10, it should be doing okay. The main reason, main reason the spear right here is doing better is because it's already maxed out, whereas the axe is only halfway maxed out. So, Also, my faith is way lower than my intellect at the moment. It's only 29, whereas my intellect is 50. So yeah, it's just not as powerful because of that. Oh well. Also, the Moonlight Butterfly Horn does pure magic damage, whereas the the Divine Tree is split magic, is split physical and magic. So you might get some extra resistances to worry about there. This guy is going to follow me down, isn't he? I hope he does not. If he does, well, we'll see. If you can get this guy right there with the plunging attack, awesome. If not, well, don't worry about it too much. And that guy wanders off sometimes. So you should be good to grab your souls, run, like mad. And yeah, it's a reasonably short path down here, assuming you don't get screwed by the skeleton. It's too bad. Like, sometimes they follow you down here as just life. And yeah, that's how you get down here nice and fast. And then from here, you know where to go. So, okay. I'll meet you guys at the next thing that I have to do. Alrighty, so we're back over here where we can join the Sunlight Covenant, or the Warriors of Sunlight Covenant here. And this is after beating Ornstein and Smau, and this is when Solaire will show back up here if you talk to him in Anorlando. So you can go ahead and talk to him and he'll have some dialogue, and I think he'll say something if you... I think he'll have different dialogue if you try to join his Covenant, whereas if you just try to join it from here, it just joins the Covenant. So let's see what happens. Oh, hello there. I'm glad to see you alive. You have done well. Indeed you have. You've a strong arm, strong faith, and most importantly, a strong heart. I am in awe, really. Yes, yes. What do you think? Why not join me as a warrior of the sun? Righteous knights, guardians of all that is good, in the name of the Lord of Sunlight. Only if it would please you, of course. Well... Uh, sure. So yeah, you get a nice little dialogue by joining it with him around. Oh, magnificent. I knew you would fancy it. Then join the Covenant. Here, stay still for a moment. And there we are. Now, just say a prayer at the Altar of Sunlight. Right there. Then you shall know the brilliance of our sun. Oh, hello there. Exhilarating, is it not? The power of the sun. I am blessed to have found such a brave companion. <laughs> oh, hello there. Exhilarating. Okay, I thought he had a bit more dialogue. Maybe not. 
By the way, whenever you join the Sunlight Covenant here, you can't get any more copies of Sunlight or any of the Lightning Spears. You can't get another copy of Lightning Spear, Great Lightning Spear, or Sunlight Spear. So, just one copy of each of those, just so you know. And I thought he had more stuff to say. Let me see what happens if we quit out and come back. Maybe that'll... Maybe that'll do it. Or it might just be later on in the game. Oh, hello there. Exhilarate. Okay, I, I guess not. Uh, let me see what happens if we change out of the Covenant and then see what he says there. We might have to be in a different not be in his covenant in order to get whatever it is he's going to say. Or he might just ask us to join again. Oh, hello there. Exhilar I am blessed. Yeah, we might not we might not be able to get the dialogue that I'm thinking of until later. Like after we meet him down in Lost Isleth. But nope, I don't think so because Because then he would just end up continuing his quest line. Maybe you only get the dialogue if you don't save him. Or or if you do save him. Oh, hello. Exhibit. Okay, so yeah, he's not going to say anything else. Okay. Anyways, I'll meet you guys somewhere else. Okay, I tried several times to get that dialogue to show up, and it just wasn't happening, so... Oh, well. Either way, here is Solaire after getting... After not killing the Sunlight Maggot here, he will come down here, and he will finally have found his son. So, yeah. Good for him. Uh, I don't think we actually need much here. Alright, so let's see what he's up to. So yeah, apparently getting possessed by the sunlight maggot, that's his idea of finding the sun. I mean, yeah, it glows, but why not just kill the damn thing and then wear it like a helmet like the rest of us do. But at least he's happy, so good for him. And go away. I think he drops all his gear. Yeah, he drops all his gear. Or at least most of it. Or all of it. Okay, cool. And there we go, there is Solaire's quest line, except for that little bit of dialogue that I just couldn't find for some reason. Wait, is that still the Sunlight Mega right there? That is. So, what, did I get like two of those? No, well, I got one at least, okay. Well, either way. Anyways, that's Solaire. I'll see you guys somewhere else. Before I forget, uh, here is the descriptions for Solaire's stuff. I'll let you guys read them yourselves. So yeah, so that's his sword right there. Here's his talisman. Which is about the same as the ivory talisman in terms of attack power and such. Actually, it's almost exactly the same, except it has a slightly lower faith requirement. Huh. 
There's his shield. And then we got his armor. So yeah, basically it's nothing special. I think it has basically the same stats as just like a regular iron set, but it has the extra the looks to it. So there you go. Anyways, I'll be right back. All right, we're back down here in the Tomb of the Giants, and it's the moment of truth. Uh, I want to see what happened to the priests, Rhea and her friends. So we killed Patches, and at that point in my file... They hadn't even shown up at Firelink Shrine, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Petrus did mention that they they let lost in in the uh, in the catacombs, but I don't know if it's going to have anything to do with them actually getting lost and going hollow down here. And if they are, then I don't know what they're going to say because Patches was dead. So, let's take a shortcut down, just in case they happen to have found their own way down here. I mean, it's possible. I mean, they're not the brightest bunch. And neither am I, apparently, since that guy just said, screw you. My weapon is actually doing pretty good. It's just, it's new game plus plus, so nothing is dying in one hit, pretty much, except for, like, the hollows, and that's pretty much it. But I'm really liking it. I really, really like the axe here. And apparently, I was looking up some damage calculators. And apparently, for a lot of weapons, Divine plus 10 actually outdamages Occult plus 5 by a little bit. Whereas with, whereas with Magic and Enchanted, Enchanted actually does win out over magic for the higher levels. I guess the occult just isn't as powerful. It's not that big of a deal. It's like 10, 15 points of damage, but it is enough to make me not want to bother re-upgrading the axe into occult. Just keep it as divine. So, there we go. Either way, I really like it. If I'd got it earlier, I probably would have played with it throughout the series. But I never actually got the damn thing, so... Oh, well. Goodbye. Goodbye. No more screwing around here. Goodbye. Alright, where you guys at? Because you have pet... So yeah, I guess they do go hollow still. I don't know why. I mean, Patches isn't down here to kick them down the thing. Maybe they just get lost and fell down here on their own. I don't know. You fox. There you go. And there you go. Except for you need to die. If they mention that Patches knocked him down here, I'm going to be upset because I killed him before these guys even spawned into Firelink. So, Patches should not have had anything to do with their demise. Then again, I don't think that those Augites of Guidances or Prism Stones or whatever were there when it came down earlier. So, I don't know what happened. 
You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. Go away. I'm trying to talk to her. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Dude, go away. I am certain. Okay, so she's not going to say anything else. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to her back at Firelink and see what she says there. But she might just say the whole Petrus abandoned us due to being weak thing or whatever. She might not she might not actually mention anything about patches. I think she would have mentioned what happened if I had gone down the regular way. But I wasn't thinking about that. So oops. Either way it looks like the same thing happened. It just maybe without patches inter patches interference. Maybe there I don't think there is a line for her saying that she fell down there on her own. Like, I th I'm pretty sure she would just mention Patches doing it. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I... Okay, you don't have anything to say. She should be over here now, I think. If not, well, oh well. I'll check back in on her momentarily. And after this, we only got one more character to take care of, and that'd be... Sigmire, and also one character related to him that I completely forgot existed throughout the playthrough. So, oops. Ah, there she is. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted. For it was not within my power to save Vince or Nico. I cannot thank you enough. In case you have not heard, I am Rhea of Thoroughland. I only wish there was some way I could help you. But I am inexperienced and I only know the art of miracles. If that could be of any help, speak to me again. So at the very least, Petrus still abandoned him down there. But I guess I'm just not going to find out if Patches came back to life to kick him down there or something. Vince and Nico were fooled by a lout named Patches and turned into hollows. My prayers did that is my Okay, that's enough. Yeah, apparently Patches just is the cause of all her problems because even if he's dead, she still gets screwed. So, oh well. Sorry, Rhea. I tried, but... Oh well. Anyways, we're going to go take care of Siegmeier, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're here in the Duke's Archives, uh, right near the Crystal Caves, and we're about to encounter a character that I just more or less completely forgot existed, so that's my fault. So over here in the Duke's Archives, you got all these blue crystal golems running around, and then you got this one special gold golem running around. You might remember the gold golem from where we fought the Hydra the first time. It's usually trapping somebody inside it. So we kill this thing, and we're going to release whoever is trapped inside. He has a butt ton of health, so you want to watch out for that. Apparently he's just going to dodge every attack that I do, which is fine. We had to kill the dude, eventually. Preferably, he doesn't kill you, because you'd have to redo all this. Come on, you're almost dead, dude. There you go. And trapped inside is... Sigmar? Is that you? It was you who rescued me. Why, thank you. I am Zeegland of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. 
So this is Sigleend. Oh, have you seen my father? You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. And so yeah, this is Sigleend of Katarina, Sigmeier's daughter. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now I shall just stay put and keep out of trouble. Yeah, the odds of your dad staying put and not finding himself in some precarious situation are slim to absolutely frickin' none. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now I shall just stay put and keep out of trouble. Okay, so this is Siegmeier's daughter. I'm not gonna attack her, I'm just trying to see if we can't get a good look at her face inside her helmet. You can kind of see inside her helmet a little bit. Not terribly great. But, eh, there you go. Doesn't appear to have any actual hair or nothing. Or if, it, or if she does, it's blonde and you can't really see it terribly well. Uh, come on, look at me and see if we can't get a good look in there. She's not on, she's not on the best spot right here, so, oh well. I guess she does have blonde hair, yeah. Okay, either way, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys at Firelink Shrine, where we'll be able to talk to her again. And there she is, right here at Firelink. So let's talk to her again and see what she has to say. Oh, hello again. The ghost man is doing quite well, aren't you? But I haven't found my father yet. Have you seen him? Well, I know exactly where he's at. Really? Then I must be off. I'm sorry he's caused you trouble. He has a knack for that. Just yeah, he's just not gonna stay put. It's just not gonna happen. You know it. I know it. It's just the way things happen. Really? Okay, so she's not gonna say anything else. And I'm gonna meet you over by Lost Isolith, where he's about to jump into that pit full of bugs. And we're gonna try to actually save him this time. So let's see if we can't do that. All right, so here we are. I haven't talked to him yet. From what I've read on various places, the best way to actually deal with this quest, especially on higher difficulties like I am, because I'm on New Game Plus Plus, the best way to make sure he actually survives is to go down there and kill all but one of these Chaos Eater bug or Chaos whatever bugs, and then talk to him so he only has one guy to fight down there, and then you get down there and you kill it before it does too much damage to him, and that should be a decent way of actually letting him survive the fight. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of these guys real fast, and I'll meet you guys back up here, and these guys don't respawn, so if you don't want to, like, find the tree the tree branch to get back up here, you can just warp back to the bonfire and go from there, but I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure I've got an all but the one in the corner. Ah. Oh, there you are. Wait, Except he didn't actually... Damn it. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, actually, he does say... I feel like I'm always thanking you. I curse my own inability. Yeah, he curses his own inability right there. He's always getting... Well, he's not mad that we're always helping him out of situations, but he's not oh, he's not the happiest about it either, so oh well. Either way, I'll be right back. But this but this route right here, he won't go hollow, and he won't die down there. His quest line just kind of ends, so you get the speckled stone plate ring, but he doesn't actually die. And let's, have, let's take a good look at your face, since we never actually bother with it. He yeah, seems like a skinny enough dude, for the most part, it's just the armor is big and oniony. Okay. But I'll be right back. All right, let's try something slightly different this time. So this time, let's go ahead and kill these guys all but one from up here, because they don't actually take that much damage to to kill. Like I think like five or six hits with a decent level bow, and my bow is pretty good at the moment since it has fifty faith backing it up and a faith scaling, so it's pretty damn decent at the moment. Yeah, I finally got my faith up to 50. And now my axe is beautiful and lovely, and I love it. Granted, it's, again, still everything's not dying in one hit, but again, it's new game plus plus, so that makes sense. Anyways, kill this guy. 
And then instead of actually killing the last dude like I did previously, I'm just going to go ahead and get him to very low HP. That way he only takes like one hit to die. Okay, that should be enough right there. Uh, let's see, make sure you have your rusted iron ring on. Wake up. Oh, oh! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. Must be the war. Well, what's on your mind? No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you? You need not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has come. Hmm. You ready? Um, friend, I have an idea. A good one, really. I will rush those dire fiends and you can slip away in the confusion. Please, friend. I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. Come on! Over here, you fiend! Perish! Ow! Because I am the fire of Catalina, and you shall feel my wrath! Okay, I wasn't planning on dying there, but... Apparently, I got hit by the the thing that he did. Uh, hmm. I'll be right back then. Okay, looks like we, looks like he might be good. We might have actually not failed this time. But you didn't you get away? Well, you saved me once again. Oh, thank you. I'm exhausted. I think I'll have a rest. Oh, don't you worry. Ground below me is my pillow. I'll recover. Shortly. Okay, that means he's gonna survive. If you don't get the if you don't get the speckled stone plate ring there, that means he's gonna survive, and you can go ahead and move on to the rest of his story. And I think if we go back to Firelink like right after talking to him. We might get a little bit of extra dialogue with his daughter. Not a whole bunch, just like a line or two. Yeah, okay, so we should be able to get a little bit of extra dialogue here. Well, hello again. I have finally located my father. All of your help was invaluable to us. Thank you so much. I was finally able to pass on my mother's last words. Oh, your mother's last words. Okay, so that's what you're here for. My father, as he went on his final adventure, don't worry. That's just the way he is. Undead or no. Sort of reassuring, really. If he goes hollow, I'll just have to kill him again. What do you mean, kill him again? My father. <laughs> Some people take that line to mean that she's killed her father once before, or maybe she's had a problem or she had to kill him or something. Uh, other people take it as... When, he, when she says kill him again, basically he died, became an undead, and then she's going to kill him when he goes hollow. So she didn't kill him before, she just has to kill him when she goes hollow, so he's going to die again, technically. Now you can, you can interpret it either way, maybe they had a falling out or something and she came back to... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, reconnect with her dad or something over her dying mother or something, I don't really know. But either way, we have one more area to meet these guys in, and that is going to be down in Ash Lake. So I'll meet you guys down there. Alrighty, we're down here in Ash Lake. And if you look over there by the bonfire, you can already see what happened. So let's go talk to them and see how things turned out. And I really hate that damn tree. I made it down all the way to where the mushrooms are my first try, and then one of the little babies actually decided to attack me by running at me and tripping. And because I was dashing to get through, that counted as a counterattack, and it took out my entire health bar in one hit. 
so I had to redo the whole area, and I died about 12 more times getting down there. So, yeah. It really sucked. And for fully completing Sigmeyer's quest, you get the Titanite Slab. And I think that's all she says. I think that's the end of the... Yeah, that's the end of her dialogue right there. Uh, you can attack her to get more dialogue, obviously, but... She doesn't drop anything, so there's not really any point to it. Okay, and there is actually one more character that we need to check out, because in the main playthrough, I managed to make sure that that character didn't even exist by accidentally attacking a certain NPC from the past that ends up in the DLC. So I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, we're here in the Artorius of the Abyss Covenant, directly after facing the Painting Guardian, after warping in, and yeah, in the main playthrough, I accidentally killed Dusk, and this character just never even showed up, so yeah. Well, look at this one. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah. Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? I mean, sure, if I have to. Thank you. I am Elizabeth. Guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Uraseel. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Uraseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the Abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the Abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Thou shalt see... Okay, so that's all she has to say. But in order... For <clears throat> in terms of stuff for her to sell, she sells repair powder and gold pine resin, which are both nice. And then the also Ivory Catalyst, which you could have bought from Dusk herself. I thought she sold some spells too, but that might not May be till guide thee. That that might not be till later. Struggling, are we? If there's anything I can do, never hesitate to ask. Thou shalt see further on that Okay, so that's all you're gonna say. Yeah, I thought she sold some spells too. May Let me I actually play? check on that real fast. Okay, so she would sell the same sorceries that Dusk has if you had not already bought them from her. So, there we go. Anyways, she does have slightly more dialogue after rescuing Dusk, so I'll meet you guys back here after that. Alrighty, took care of Manus, and let's go ahead and see what the Mushroom Elizabeth has to say now. I have awaited thee. Thou hast rescued Princess Dusk and rid us of that terrible primeval human, even halting the spread of the abyss. I salute the grandeur of thine enterprise. Please allow me to express my gratitude. I thank thee, as do we all. 
And yeah, we get those Elizabeth mushrooms that we got previously when she was just not here in the first place. And yeah, she doesn't have anything else. I will remember thee, but I will keep thy story to myself. This is the best way, for thou art come from a time far ahead. No one will sing thy praises, but yet thy greatness shall live on, for it shall be my purpose to remember all thou hast done for us. <laughs> Was thine eye glancing hither? Thou needst not hide thy wonder. I am a mushroom, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Thou needs not I am <laughs> Okay, so she is aware that she is a giant sentient mushroom. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so that's all the character dialogue that we missed, except for like killing killing some people and Yeah, I might have missed a couple other pe couple other ones, but oh well. I was gonna do the the boss soul weapons in this video as well, but all the dialogue and stuff took way longer than I thought, so we'll just make that a separate bonus video, which will probably be way shorter than this one. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.